If you recall from the first video, the blood supply for the brain comes from the vertebral and internal carotid arteries. In the brainstem, we will focus on the vertebral arteries. The paired vertebral arteries come together on the anterior brainstem to form the basilar artery, which lies in the basilar groove on the pons. The network formed by the vertebral and basilar arteries is called the vertebral basilar system. The midbrain is supplied by the superior cerebellar arteries and posterior cerebral arteries. The pons is supplied by the basilar artery and its branches. This includes the anterior inferior cerebellar arteries, the pontine branches or paramedian arteries, and superior cerebellar arteries. The medulla oblongata is supplied by the vertebral arteries and their branches, the anterior spinal artery, the posterior spinal arteries, and the posterior inferior cerebellar arteries. Brainstem death occurs when there is irreversible loss of brainstem functions, so there is no potential for regaining consciousness and for breathing without support. This occurs due to loss of oxygen or blood supply to the brainstem, which can be caused by strokes, head injuries, brain tumors, and more. Brainstem death is diagnosed by testing for pupillary, corneal, oculocephalic, oculovestibular, gag, and cough reflexes. The doctors also perform the apnea test, looking for an effort from the patient to breathe on their own when disconnected from the ventilator for a short period of time. In the UK, confirmation of brainstem death is legally equivalent to death of the person.